If you've been using Scrivener a bit until now, you might be familiar with the concept that in Scrivener, you can add certain information to each of the documents that helps you structure your project, as in keep everything that you have inside a project in order or make it easier to find certain things. Probably you already know about label and status information that you can attach to a document. But the problem with information such as label and status is that you can only attach one to each document. For example, each document can only have one label assigned and one status assigned. And there are situations where you might wish to add several labels to one document. For example, if you're writing a novel and you want to track certain things, such as which character appears in which scene. This is possible in Scrivener with keywords. So just to keep the terminology clear here, because I just said add several labels to one document. That in and of itself is not possible. Every document can only have one label assigned, but you can assign more than one keyword. So let's look at keywords. You can access the keyword setup via the third tab in the inspector. In case the inspector is not open, click the I icon in the toolbar and then go to the third tab the one with the tag icon. This tab has this tag icon because this is also where you set up your metadata. But we will look at metadata in another video. So right now let's just focus on the keyword section a little further down below. If you have a new or pretty new project in front of you, this section will most probably be empty. But before we just start adding keywords here, which you could, Let's just first go to the Keyword Manager to get a good overview of how they work. Keyword Manager, by the way, is just the way I call it. I don't think that is an official term. So if you search for Keyword Manager on the internet, it will probably not return any useful results. But anyway, click on the gear icon and then choose Show Project Keywords to open that Keyword Manager window. Here, Scrivener lists all the keywords you have in this project. So let's create a few to see what you can do with them. At the bottom, you see a plus button. Let's click that and create a keyword. Now, if the keyword we just created is selected, the other buttons here at the bottom activate. And you see that there is a second plus button there. If we click that, we create a sub keyword. And if we click it a second time, we create another sub keyword. So you see, we can create keyword hierarchies, which is nice. For example, if we want to use the keyword function for different purposes. To go back to the novel example, you could have one group of keywords that tracks the characters that appear in a scene. You can have an entirely different group of keywords or sub keywords for that matter to track other things in your story, maybe magical objects or mark different story points that you want to focus on. And with the minus button, of course, you can delete keywords. Now, how do you assign keywords? As usually, Scrivener gives you several ways to do that. If we go out of the Keyword Manager window for a second and back to the Keyword Inspector area, we could now just click the plus button there and add a new keyword to that document or click on the gear icon and via the add keyword menu, choose one of the keywords we just created. And that's a perfectly viable way of doing it. But if you want to assign a lot of keywords to a lot of documents, that will take you a lot of time. So let's look at other options. If we go back to the keyword manager window via show project keywords, we see that we have a menu at the bottom that lets us assign keywords to selected documents. So not only can we add more than one keyword at once to a document, we can also add more than one keyword at once to several documents at once. Just select the documents you want to add the keywords to. You don't need to close the keyword window for that. And then select the keywords you want to assign and then click on apply keywords to selected documents via the menu at the bottom. You see the second option in the menu there, the same way you can also remove the applied keywords. But there is still another option to assign keywords. You can just 
click drag the keywords onto the documents you want to assign them to. You could do that in the binder. For example, just drag the keywords on the corresponding documents in the binder. But I think that's not the best option because you have no way of verifying if it worked. Maybe you accidentally dragged it to the wrong document and don't notice it because the binder has no way of showing you if and which keywords are applied. So let's open the corkboard for this and go to the corkboard options and under view corkboard options, make sure that show keyword colors is checked. Now, if you take one or more keywords and drag them onto one of the index cards, you see these keyword chips appear at the side. Now you can go ahead and just drag all the keywords to wherever you need them and you can also verify that you drag them to the correct document. A little caveat here, depending on your corkboard display settings, you might only see a certain number of keyword chips. If you want to check that or change it, with the corkboard active, click on the bottom right pop-up menu and set the keyword chips number. One last thing about keywords, you can also search by keywords. If over time you have accumulated a lot of documents with a lot of keywords, that might become very important. Assigning keywords only makes sense if you can use them to find your stuff quickly, right? So the easiest way to find the documents that have a certain keyword attached is to go to the keyword manager window, select the documents that you want to search for, and then click the magnifying glass icon in the bottom right corner. This will open up the search for you and give you a list of all the documents that have this keyword attached.